Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Nelson Creek. Are you ready for some farming? Are you sure? Maybe? Well, not yet. Yeah, the ground's frozen rock hard still. Welcome back to the farm, everybody. It is a beautiful Monday, the 28th of February, 2022. And did you know that the 29th, 30th, and 31st of February are the only three days where a woman will admit that the man was right during an argument? Yeah. One of the first things we're going to plant out here this spring after the ground thaws out and all the snow melts is a butterfly and hummingbird and flower mix. I got two different bags, um, perennials, whatnot, annuals, uh, but we're going to plant those out north of the creek in the pond. Yeah, somewhere starting, uh, oh, there's one of our little pine trees, uh, starting somewhere right along in there on that side of the creek all the way down yonder there and around and out in here uh, that's where we're going to put in the uh, flower beds on the creek side and for around the pond we will probably start in here somewhere and just follow the edge of it around on this side of it uh, yeah we still have a ton of snow and it's only 14 degrees out here this morning these are the uh, two bags of uh, flower seeds that I was talking about. Uh, this one just is a wildflower uh, mix here. Uh, old time favorites, you know, that sort of thing, poppies and whatnot. And this one has larkspur and cosmos and stuff in it. Uh, this is for butterflies and hummingbirds, but I figured between the two of them, he's all over the hop of finger and his little ugly sister. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, figured between the two of those, uh, we would have a good pollinator mix for the humming uh, birds and the f bees this spring. Hopefully those uh, pollinators will also help in the garden area because these are going to be planted right near where our garden is going to be. Right here is the creek and right over there between that riser and the driveway out into the field, right in that area all the way down, that is going to be the garden area for the 2022 season so yeah all of our fresh produce is going to be coming out of that area right there say did you see the deal in the news about the couple in colorado that was going through a divorce court and they were trying to split up all their assets and one of the things was their farm where they grew marijuana yeah the judge finally had just awarded them joint custody <laughs> hey let's say hi to the farm kitty again yeah I don't know what we're going to call her yet, but she is very pregnant with a bunch of little ones. So we call her May Pop. <laughs> That's May Pop if she gets out on the street. Ugh. Yeah, bad joke. Some of you may be asking, Dave, have you bothered to do anything the last couple of weeks besides put a sign on the outhouse? Well, actually, I have. And the proof is right here. Yep. What I got were some blue ribbon service uh, booklets on the Magneto for the Farmall H on how to repair it and whatnot. And then I also have a H and M lift all hydraulic manual plus a lift all supplement. If you can see right there, it said lift all on it. Anyway, those three right there are going to come in awful handy because we're going to be servicing that thing before too long. And the reason why I'm looking at getting that H serviced up pretty quick here is because we got another little special project coming up later on here for the Super M. Oops, be sure to stay tuned for that one. I have also picked up a uh, new lower grill insert to replace the insert that's missing on the Super M. I've also got about half a dozen new seed catalogs from various suppliers around the country. And we're going to be ordering from those here shortly 
to get our supplies in for the year. I'm not much of a prepper and I'm not too worried about some of the things that goes on in the world, but with the current thing going on in the Ukraine, probably a good idea to be stocking up on some garden supplies. And everybody probably ought to be putting in a garden in their place if they can. Because I got a sneaky hunch, if this thing goes south, we're gonna be in a real tight spot. Say, did you hear about the pork producer that taught his pigs how to swing dance? Yeah, it's a whole new thing now. It's called swine dancing. <laughs> If it isn't gophers, it's my other pet peeve. Little bitty sand burrs. And the little rotten buggers already have seeds on them. That bright green spot, yeah, that's seeds. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's little video. I haven't been around doing too heck of a lot because it's just been too darn cold, windy, and just otherwise nasty out and about here at 4,000 feet above sea level in Southern Idaho. So, in the meantime, uh, we've got some stuff ordered besides those manuals. I've got some hay rake teeth coming and whatnot. So, yeah, if you want to see some old-time farming, just hang on. It's going to thaw out and warm up. We'll be stirring some dirt before too long. Anyway, I'm Farmer Dave telling you thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on the subscribe thing right down there. Give us a comment in the comment section, even if it's just to say hi or whatever. And, uh, yeah, y'all be safe out there. Catch up with you later now. Bye-bye.